Science is so boring. I'm no good at it anyway, so I don't even see how it matters in my life. Did I hear somebody say science is boring and that it doesn't matter? Well, yeah, I said that. What's the big deal anyways? All scientists do is memorize a bunch of facts and write a million page research journals about atoms and stuff. Wow. Only a sixth grader, and we already hate science, do we? Well, this won't do at all. My name is the nature of science. Let's have a little chat about what science is really about. Science is about skepticism, curiosity, and working with others to solve mysteries that occur in our natural world. Like, why are there seasons? Or, how does everything stick to Earth even though it rotates at 1,040 miles per hour? Scientists ask questions like these all the time when trying to make sense of our natural world. So what you're saying is, is that science is when you do a bunch of experiments and stuff to understand the world? You're on the right track. But science isn't just a bunch of experiments done at random. Science is both a working body of knowledge and a process, meaning scientists use established knowledge to test and re retest new knowledge. When enough scientists achieve the same results, they come to consensus and accept the new knowledge into the working body of knowledge. But the awesome thing about science is, is that it never ends. There are always more questions to ask, observations to make, and experiments to conduct, even for sixth graders just like you. You can be a scientist if you ask questions that can be tested, use tools to gather evidence, and share and discuss your results with others. Anybody can participate in this process. So the next time you see one of your sixth grade classmates slam their head against the desk because science is so boring, well first get them an ice pack for their head, and then tell them about your exciting membership in a community of discovery as a scientist, and invite them to join. Created using Powtoon.